Hello everyone and welcome back to Learning in Technology. My name is Frank and I'm glad that you're here. In this video, we're going to, I'm going to talk about the differences between the built-in Microsoft Whiteboard that comes with Teams and the Microsoft Whiteboard that you download as an application onto your Mac or onto your Windows machine. And there is a lot of differences between the two and there is one that I prefer over the other one and I'm going to talk about that. Uh, hit the subscribe button, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss any videos and hit the like button if this particular video is useful for you. Let's have a look at those two whiteboards, what the differences are between them, which one I recommend and also as a bonus I'll show you very quickly how to use the one that I recommend in that Teams environment. There are two types of whiteboards that we might use. The one that's built into Teams and the one that we have to download. To download that whiteboard, if we go into our Edge browser and we go to the download site for the whiteboard, and you can find this just by doing a quick search on uh, Microsoft Whiteboard Download. You download the whiteboard for Windows and then you install it. And I've already done that in previous videos and I've already installed it. So we know we have that whiteboard. And to launch that whiteboard app, you just type in whiteboard and you can open up the white whiteboard app. To get the whiteboard in Teams, what we'll do is we'll open up Teams. So just while that goes in there, oh, you can see I've already got a whole bunch in there, so we'll just do a blank whiteboard in there. Uh, but if I go into my Teams site, you'll notice I have my Teams site. And when I go into here, if I start a new meeting, so I'm going to start a new meeting here in Teams, so we'll go up and meet. And this will go in. I'll, I'll turn the camera off, so we'll just turn the camera off, and I'll go meet now. Underneath the Teams meeting, if I go into the sharing tab, so you can go into here, oh, sorry, sharing. Uh, notice there's a whiteboard here. So this whiteboard here is the built-in whiteboard. So now I have two whiteboards running at the same time. So they've got the meeting whiteboard, and you can see I've got, I can stop presenting there, but you've got the meeting whiteboard and you have the built-in one. Just to make this easier for us and for the purposes of demonstration, what I'm gonna do is take this whiteboard here and put it on one side and take this built-in whiteboard and put it on the other side. So this is my meeting whiteboard on this side, and this is my regular downloaded whiteboard on this side. So we can do a side-to-side -side comparison. So the first thing you're gonna notice here is that in the meeting whiteboard, these are the only options that I have. I have four different pens of four different colors, an eraser, I can do a text, and just recently they added the ability to put in a sticky note. So you can see that they're already starting to make this a more robust whiteboard. And because I'm in the meeting here right now, anybody else who's in the meeting will automatically see this whiteboard. And if I'm recording this meeting, this whiteboard, whatever I do on this whiteboard, will automatically become part of that uh, whiteboard recording as well. So that's very handy. I didn't have to do anything extra. I can go in here. I've got my whiteboard in there and I can start you know, using it to do quick notes and such. Now, I've had mixed results with this whiteboard. Uh, I did earlier when I was using Microsoft Teams, uh, this whiteboard was crashing a little bit on me. That being said, I do know that they have done some, uh, some updates to Teams. For example, they now have the post-it notes in here and the text in here. How, so I haven't used it very much subsequent to that, so I'm not sure if those issues are resolved or not. But regardless of that, what I do is I use this built-in whiteboard. I meant to say I use the downloadable app, not the built-in. And the reason I use the built-in whiteboard is, first of all, let's just look at pens. I get an entire selection of pens that gives me more color range. Plus, if I hover on the pen, I can actually go in, click on the pen, and you see I can get many different colors, many different thicknesses. So immediately I get a better pen selection. Plus, I can do highlighting. Erasing, I have a ruler that I can use on here where I can go in and I can use that to draw and, uh, you know, scroll in, scroll out. So you see, I'm already getting many more features on this particular whiteboard. So immediately, that, that's of great use to me. The other thing is that I can go into this whiteboard and I can do things like, again, I have my sticky notes. I can go in, I can put in a text box. We have that over here on the Teams whiteboard. And I can go in and I can add in a photo. So I can go in and grab an image, for example, on here, right? And I can go and say, okay, let's go in here. I just have to say, enable the connected experiences. So this connects my whiteboard to, to the world, right? So if I go in and say, let's go ahead and add a Bing image in there, I can now search for a Bing image. And let's say I'll search for the word pen, okay? So I can search in and I can put in a picture of a pen in there. 
And so you can see that that gives me some functionality. Now, I've got a lot of other videos where I go through and I show you 10 tips for the whiteboard and all that stuff. So I'm not going to go through and do an overview of how to use all these features right now. What I'm just trying to show you here is that this whiteboard that is the downloadable app is much more feature rich than the one that's built into Teams. So I much prefer to use this. Now, the only downside is that this one immediately when I launch it, anybody who's in this meeting is going to be able to see what I'm doing. This one here, they don't see this because this is running on my system. So how are we going to reconcile that? And I'll show you that in a moment. The other thing is if somebody, if I'm in a meeting and somebody wants to take control of this whiteboard, they can just request control. And if they request control, I can give them control of the whiteboard and they can collaborate. And I've got another video on the channel on how to collaborate using this other whiteboard as well. So you can just go in and you can invite people in. So it's a bit of a two-step process, but I'll show you. If I, I'm going to minimize this whiteboard right now, and then what I'm going to do is take my Teams, and instead of sharing this whiteboard here, so I'll stop sharing that whiteboard, I'm not going to share this whiteboard. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go in and I'm going to share the whiteboard that I'm running over on my computer. So you can see here on my computer, I've got a number of different screens here. And one of the things that I'm running in my environment is I've got this whiteboard application running. So you can see, I'll oh, just bring that up again. So I've got this whiteboard running. And if I go into share here on the computer, so we'll go into my sharing, oh, share tray, you can see that I can share the screen that's currently running that whiteboard. Or I can go in and I can grab uh, the specific, just the whiteboard itself. So now I'm actually, you can see the red border around this whiteboard. I am now sharing this in Microsoft Teams and people can request control of this particular application so I can collaborate. We can pass control back and forth. Uh, so, you know, you do something on the whiteboard, I do something on the whiteboard. Some people like a whiteboard where everybody can, you know, contribute all at once. I've never really liked that because I think it's chaotic. So I prefer if it's like, okay, you know, Bob's going to do something on the whiteboard. Okay, what do you want to put on the whiteboard? Well, let me add to this here and you can pass the control back and forth, which is a little bit of an administrative or, or management type of scenario, but I think a managed environment uh, where you're passing control back and forth is pretty handy. So the reason I like to use the built-in, or sorry, the downloadable whiteboard as opposed to the built-in whiteboard is because it's more feature rich. Uh, because I'm able to go in and I'm able to uh, use more uh, pens, I'm able to use text, I'm able to put images, I'm able to put PDFs, I'm able to put PowerPoints. These are all things that I show in other videos. But all I have to remember is that within Microsoft Teams, I just got blurry there for a second. All I have to remember is that within Microsoft Teams, I have to go in and share this as I would any other application. If I was sharing a PowerPoint, if I was sharing a screen, if I was sharing anything, I can share the whiteboard. And now having the feature rich built uh, uh, downloadable whiteboard gives me more, uh, more ability to express different concepts. I hope that was helpful. So there's an example of, of why I prefer this whiteboard over the other. I hope that comparison was useful for you and you understand how to use the downloadable whiteboard in Microsoft Teams meeting. I think over time, probably what will happen is the one that's built into Teams will be improved and have the same features as the one that we download. But in the meantime, I really want those additional features and I think it's worth downloading and sharing it out in a Teams meeting rather than using the built-in one. I have a number of other videos on Microsoft Whiteboard, uh, how to use it in terms of collaboration and how to uh, use it to work with things like PDFs, plus some tips and tricks. I'll post some links to those videos. And if you like these types of videos, go ahead and subscribe. I have a lot of different videos where I'm going to talk about learning and technology and how the two can be brought together to help us achieve more. I really appreciate your watching and I'll see you in the next video.